Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a Q&A. Now I literally decided yesterday that I wanted to do one because I haven't done one in ages. By the way, I haven't mentioned this in a video yet, but I probably should. If you hear a beeping sound every so often, it is my fire alarm in the kitchen. It just goes off like every 30 seconds. People find it really kind of annoying because they actually hear it. I don't hear it, I kind of like it. I only notice it when I'm filming or editing a video and I'm like, oh my God, like how do I not notice that all day long? I kind of like it, it's like, I don't know, it's just, you get used to it. It's like a clock when it ticks, you just, look, it just went again. But yeah, it's like a ticking clock, you just don't notice it. Well, some people do. But anyway, I've got some questions. I asked on both of my Instagrams, so my skincare Instagram, my main one, and also I asked on YouTube. Most of the questions are on Instagram, but I'm gonna start off with my skincare one because this is gonna be kind of like my announcement video that I am coming out with a little skincare range. I have mentioned it in a couple of previous videos, but this is kind of me officially saying it. Oh, by the way, grab a hot beverage if you want to because this is going to be a long long video oh by the way this is a guinea pig so cute um i've got a coffee in here um but basically i decided oh actually i should probably answer the questions because most of the questions i'll probably answer without even answering them if you know what i mean um but i am creating my own skincare it's called fresh faced and i don't know if somebody's asked why i called it that but i decided to call it that because it just in my head, fresh faced is like you cannot get more pure than a fresh face. Like you're completely clean, you've cleansed your skin, you've done your skincare overnight, you wake up in the morning, you wash your face and that is fresh faced. Like you are so fresh, you are so clean and that's what I want my skincare to be about, about making you as fresh as possible. That doesn't mean to say that you can't then go and put makeup on and still and ruin it all. Makeup is completely separate to skincare. It is something of an art. It's something that you enjoy to do and then that means that when you come back home you can then use my skincare products if you want to remove your makeup do your skincare and go to bed and be fresh faced so i love the name fresh faced i don't know why um if you don't then that's fair enough this is just what i like but i am going to start answering questions now um if you want to go and follow my instagram i will link it down below it's called fresh face underscore skincare and also my Facebook page for it as well. They're both linked in the description because that's where most of the behind the scenes stuff goes on. And in my logo, if you wanna know why there's a hippo in my logo, it's my tattoo. So my logo is my hippo tattoo. It's just, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be related to makeup. Obviously a hippo isn't related to makeup, but I suppose you could say that the hippo looks quite kind of, like it's a nice fresh outline. I don't know, I just like it. It's personal to me. It's not relating to skincare, but it's just, my thing so first question by uh, by the way i am gonna say who said this so if you don't want me to say who said it then i am very sorry amy knight who i know from sixth form asked a few questions she, she said what inspired you to start this particular business obviously when i was selling products from the body shop i started to get a feel for skincare a little bit more and i started to really enjoy using and reviewing products and sort of understanding my skin and the fact that it actually changed a lot and obviously i do love body shop products although i don't sell for them anymore and i just started to think that you know this is something i have always wanted to do my auntie used to sell them and ever since she was doing that this is something that i I've wanted to do that like, genuinely but I just never thought that oh that's something that I can do until like over a month ago and I just thought I really want to do this um I came up with my name and everything nothing in particular inspired me but I think I suppose my auntie a few years ago when she was doing it inspired me because I thought oh this is so cool I would love to do that um she also asked what ingredients do your products include for example will they be vegan etc so I'm wanting all of my products to be completely natural they won't all be vegan because i do want to make a balm makeup remover and that will contain beeswax so it won't be vegan and that's okay with me um but i they are still natural products if you know what i mean so i do want all my products to be natural and all my ingredients to be natural um at the minute anyway because obviously in the future i might use kind of flavorings or things but i do want to kind of go down that route but when it comes to vegan most of them will be vegan apart from things that include beeswax so the makeup remover that I want to create will include that and 
if that's not something that you kind of want to do for example if you're doing veganuary or if you are vegan then i am sorry about that but i am going to be coming out with a different cleanser um on re makeup remover in the future that i have planned that doesn't contain um, beeswax and is vegan um, and finally she asked what are your plans for the future now i do have a lot of plans for the future when it comes to everything in life but um when it comes to skincare the skincare brand i want to make products that i like and that i use and that are kind of quality i don't want to release loads of products in one go i said in a previous video that i don't want to release a range of products in one go and i say these are my skincare products i want to launch a product and then a few weeks or a month later launch another one and so on and so on so that i can really focus on each product make sure that it works um focus on packaging labels everything because although i'm not doing this to make loads of money i'm doing this because it's a hobby it's something that i enjoy and earning some money through that would be like a bonus obviously that would be great to earn some money from it but i'm not doing it for that sole purpose i'm doing it for a enjoyment purposes so yeah future plans wise i have got loads of ideas i'm not going to state them all but yeah I, I have got loads of ideas um and in terms of youtube in terms of everything else i think that's a video in itself future plans so i might actually do that in a video because i have suddenly got to the point now i'm 20 that i've got loads of stuff that i want to do in life so i think i will make a separate video on that um, Hannah Ford, hello Hannah, um, she was also at my sixth form and a friend of mine and chemistry days we used to sit on the same table in chemistry. She asked what are you most grateful for in your life at the minute? This was actually quite a tricky one because I suppose I'm grateful for a lot of things. I think I'm, there is a lot of things I'm grateful for and I'm not, not going to say all of them because it's pretty much everything but one of the main things that I'm grateful for is that my anxiety and my mental health is great when i was a child i really struggled with that and it was something that worried me so much i think it worried my parents as well because they thought that when i'm older i wouldn't be able to do like normal everyday things that a normal person should be able to do i worried that i wouldn't be able to go to uni i worried that i wouldn't be able to do interviews or get a job and that is still a worry now but i know that if i push myself i can do it whereas back then no pushing me could have done that because of the condition that I had, selective mutism. So I think I'm grateful for the fact that I've recovered from that. That is what I'm most grateful for because that is what pushed me back so far. And yeah, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm happy now with everything that I'm doing and that I've got great friends and family and yeah, loads of things, loads of things. Poppy underscore wood asked, what are your main goals for this year? So loads of goals for 2020 i literally have so many um for my skincare brand i want to release a fair few products not loads but just a good core range of stuff that i think is quality i'm going to be using them myself i'm actually not going to buy any um one else's skincare um unless i haven't released a product relating to that obviously um because i just want to use my own products you know if i don't use my own products that would be a bit stupid um, and that would be a bit hypocritical um so yeah i want to focus on that um this year i want to continue to post loads of content on my youtube channel it is a big passion of mine still and um, my channel used to grow a lot more like over a year ago because i used to put so much more effort into it and into just general things on youtube and i hadn't done that for a year because i've been busy so i'm gonna try and do that again this year and just you know i'm not interested in loads of subscribers i'm not interested in loads of views i do this as a hobby but i am starting to earn a little bit more money from it and you know that does help so i do like that and i do do the odd sponsored video as well so i would be more than happy to do some more sponsored videos this year i think i've already done three sponsored videos um and also on tiktok as well but yeah i would like to do a few more and then finally the final question on my skincare instagram was from emily banks and she asked are you going to do a what i got for christmas or um what i got for my birthday video so yeah my birthday and christmas were very much like close together um no i'm not going to show you what i got for christmas because it's a little bit like of a long way away i can't exactly remember everything but i just thought i'm not going to film these videos because i'm going to be showing you all that stuff anyway like throughout the year you're gonna see them in favorites videos and stuff and i just didn't you know i wanted to start fresh in january i didn't want to be talking about things that happened last year and as for my birthday i didn't ask 
Oh no, actually I did get quite a lot for my birthday. I got sports leggings, I got this book, which happens to be here, um, from an edited life. That was a really good birthday present. But I don't know, I just didn't film them. I probably will film them this year though, so get excited for like 10, 11 months time. So let's go over to my other Instagram. I should probably unlock the door because Jamie's gonna be coming back from work very soon and he's going to want me to unlock the door so that he can enter the house. Okay, a lot of questions, a lot of them are from Emma. Right, back in a second, I'm just gonna unlock the front door. Hi, it's me, I nearly dropped my coffee. Do not balance your coffee on the sofa because it will not end well. Okay, so we are back um, with our hot beverage. So Instagram questions now, my main Instagram. Some of them do kind of overlap with my other one. Um, but my cousin Abby asked, what inspired you to start your own company? Um, I think she asked that because her mum, my auntie, was the one that kind of inspired me to do it. Um, and obviously I have also answered that question as well. So yeah, I have answered that question. Um, but yeah, it was definitely my auntie like a few years ago. And also my second inspiration is just the fact that I love skincare and the fact that I used to have acne and now I don't and I know what products to use to reduce my spots. I know what products to use to reduce oils and that doesn't mean that you strip oils out. You need oils. I'm gonna have products with oils in them. I'm gonna have products without oils in them. I just, I have so many ideas, but hopefully I can do them with the money that I've got. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Ooh, I've just accidentally clicked on something. Um, Emily Banks, she asked a question on the other one and she's asked one on this one as well. Said, how long did it take to make a video? And I really wanted to answer this because that is quite a good question because it does actually take a lot longer than you would think. If I film a video with my mum, she's always like, every single day after that, she's like, when's the video going up? When's it going up? When's it going up? And we've genuinely filmed like 45 minutes of footage. For me to edit through that, I have to at least watch 45 minutes to edit it. Bearing in mind, I'm stopping, starting, cutting things out, zooming in, speeding things up, slow it down. Do you know how long that would take, like honestly? So filming a video, I have to set everything up, my lights, my camera, you've got to make sure the battery's charged, make sure the SD card is wiped and clear. Then I've got to set everything up. If I'm doing a favorites video, get all my stuff together, doing this Q and A, get all my questions together, anything like that sit down, make sure the background's okay, light a cheeky candle, of course, and then film the video. Once it's filmed, pack everything away, transfer the footage from my SD card onto my laptop, then on my laptop, transfer that onto iMovie, edit the video, which could take, say, if it's a 15 minute video, it'll probably take me, a probably like an hour and 15 to edit it, um, but I kind of do it in like little intervals rather than all in one go. And then to save that video on iMovie, it takes about 45 minutes. To then upload the video onto YouTube, it will take me about half an hour. I've then got to do the description box. I've got to make a thumbnail and I make the thumbnail on my phone. I send it to myself on Facebook. I then send it from Facebook over to um, YouTube on my laptop. It's really confusing then I add it onto the video. I do the little cards that come up in the corner, I do end screens, like there's so much to do. You you don't understand how much there is to do if you don't do YouTube. Um, and then schedule the video to go and then it posts. And I'm like, okay, all of that effort and I do that as a hobby. So some people would be like, why would you do all of that um, and you don't get paid that much? It's a hobby. Omar asks, the question, why are you such a pumice? Now that is a complete inside joke from like years ago, like literally three or four years ago. I don't even, like he was at my sixth form, but I don't really know him that well. It's just an inside joke that accidentally happened between two people that don't know each other that well. And it's not even an inside joke, like it's not even relating to poo. I think I just said it once and then now we keep saying it and yeah, it's just one of those really weird things. Um, also, my friend Emma asked loads of questions. So thank you, Emma. That's got the video up to a good um, length. A lot more ads for me there. Um, the first one she asked was, who does the cooking, you or Jamie? Think I've already sent this. Sam clicked my phone, lol. No, you didn't send it, so. Sam, that's very naughty. Don't do it again. And Emma, I do the cooking. 
of course. Um, I literally do all the cooking. I do the cooking for myself, I do it for Jamie, like he would probably make his lunch. I even make his breakfast, but that isn't because like he's like, oh, can you do it, can you do it, can you do it? It's just me doing it because I'm in the kitchen. I like to control everything. I know where everything is. I put everything in the kitchen. I do the food shop. Like he does contribute to the money and everything, but I just like to do it, so that's why I do it. Um, and she said, favorite meal, oh my God. I do love a good Domino's pizza, but that's not a, a valid answer because that's just a takeaway. Um, oh, I suppose I'm gonna have to go with pasta. I love pasta. Um, but a, a meal that I've recently done, I don't know, to be honest, because I am obviously on a bit of a fitness journey, so everything's very healthy at the minute. But it still tastes really good. I don't know, I can't really answer that. Jamie just got home, but anyway, well, let's carry on with these questions. Um, so Emma, Again, she asked loads of questions, so thank you, Emma. Um, this is a good one, best tip for motivation. Now, I really wanna make a whole video on this because I know that last year was just not my year for motivation, getting stuff done, anything like that. Like previous years, I've been very heavily into motivation and like promoting being motivated and you know, being ambitious and I used to promote organization and I wanna be like that again. Like this year, my goal was to have the same mindset that I used to have and I definitely have got there. Now, I am gonna make a whole video on this because I do have a lot of tips to share, but my main thing for motivation, I get motivation when I tick things off my to-do list. Now that's so simple. Emma did actually buy me a to-do list for my birthday. Thanks, Emma. Um, but I just find that when you've got a to-do list of tasks that you wanna get done and you tick them off and you get them done and you know, often I do mine in a specific order, it just makes me feel so good. And then I'm like, I'm motivated to do the same the next day and to have plans and to have goals. If the house is tidy, you know, tidy house, tidy mind, all that thing. And I think motivation is quite a difficult one, but I am gonna make a video on it. Like there's no way that I can really answer that question in just such a short um, sort of space of time in this video. Like I need a whole video for that. But I will answer that question, Emma, in a whole video at some point. She asked, how many hours at week are you at uni? I am at uni for 12 hours a week. I have Fridays off though. So the start of the week is very busy. Like Monday and Tuesday are hectic, like so busy. I've then got a 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Um, so when I get home on Wednesday, I'm like, oh my God, thank God. And then Thursday um, is quite decent um and then friday i have time off today is friday i'm filming youtube videos that's what i'm saying to myself i'm filming youtube videos um on fridays okay she also asked what's your favorite brand of skincare already existing um <laughs> which i find that funny does she mean like i don't know um anyway and then she says the body shop still or question mark question mark um i have never really ventured into other skincare brands i think that's why I love the body shop so much because I'd always ever tried like really cheap skincare from the supermarket, you know, just super cheap or from Primark. I had tried um, the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I also tried the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. I really loved that. And I think I'm gonna have to say the body shop because that's where I've tried my skincare from and I really love their skincare. It is obviously really, really nice and I do love the whole brand itself. And if she asks me this question in a few months time when I've got my own products out, I'm definitely gonna say my own products. Definitely. I'm gonna make my products good enough for me to prefer them to the body shop. But I think I'll be biased anyway, so that's probably why. Um, and then she says, how long until I can try some of your new skincare? very soon so my first product is a product that i don't necessarily need people to test because i know that it works and i know that it that it's fine and good and i don't need to test it on people's different skin types so i'm not going to be sending out samples to people to try that necessarily i'm just going to sell the product how it is but my second product is a makeup remover it's a balm and i really want to get that formula right so i am going to be trying it out before i sell it um for a few weeks myself and i'm going to send it to some friends and probably my auntie and my mom so that everyone can give their feedback on it and if it suited their skin, if it worked well, um, just that I can get advice off them and I'm gonna do that with future products. But my first product is a lot more simple than that and it doesn't require like different amounts of things necessarily. So, so yeah, I think I'm gonna be releasing my first product um, 
probably in a week or two or three max and then the second product i'm probably gonna release that in a month i would say or a little bit less only because it does take a long time to do things and i think as i get the ball rolling it'll be a lot quicker for me to make products and to do labels and things like that but just starting it off obviously it's quite difficult but very soon very soon emma you'll be the first to know trust me um and then she says when do you finish uni i don't exactly know when i finish uni but i'm presuming it's april at some point in april i'm not sure and then she finally said where are you living next year still in dino's flat dino is my dad his name isn't actually Dino, his name is Dean. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to be living in this flat next year. I like it, I like the location. It means that I can get my steps in walking into uni for half an hour um, every day. And it also means that I am not in town where it's just too tempting to either go to McDonald's or go to um, one of the uni pubs. It's just kind of a little bit more like out of the way and I like that. But in the future, I definitely have goals of like in the future, what I want. Um, and in like a year in like a few years i want to be like looking for different places obviously money is a problem but i'm really going to start focusing on money a lot more this year um okay brandon asked from uni i know him from uni we actually funny story became friends because he commented on one of my videos it was an a level results video that my brother did well i did it but he, it was his results and he recognized my uni of lincoln hoodie and then we realized that we were at the same uni and on the same course so yeah that's how we became friends but he said would you rather be just rich or just famous so you can't be both i would rather be just rich fame i personally think is not something that i think it's completely overrated like i actually feel sorry for a lot of famous people especially like people in the royal family because they didn't ask to be like that like i mean like the younger kids they don't ask for that life they're brought into that life and i think fame is just completely like looked at in the wrong way like people think oh, i'd love to be famous but fame is just being well known and with that comes a huge responsibility and it would significantly impact your mental health leaving the house like people would recognize you you know even if you was just a little bit famous like people could recognize you here or there you would feel like you can't just walk out you know looking really scruffy or you'd feel like you I don't know or maybe you could go out but do you know what I mean like you would just be consciously thinking like I've got to keep up this image of how I want to portray myself um whereas being rich I think being rich is also overrated as well and when I say being rich I mean like really really rich like that would be overrated because um like too much money you can have too much money that affects your morals and your values and your belief and also if you have too much money like what do you have to work for i like the thought that i can work for my money that are you know the earning of money like i just love that like you do things you earn money from it you know it's just like um a reward for hard work and if you have already got that reward without the hard work it's like well what's the point in doing anything if you've already got the money it's just I don't know but i think if you've got rich because of the hard work that you've put in or you're successful and you know it's just a, a comfortable rich you know not too much then i would say i would 100 percent love that because obviously then you can do the holidays that you want to do and you can buy things you know without having to worry and you can help people out you know obviously don't let people take the mick but do you know what i mean like you can help people out that might be struggling etc so definitely not famous let's put it that way right so that's all my things from instagram and i know this video is long but i've got loads of questions i'll probably do another one next month hxn hxn that's just the letters of the name um asked on youtube by the way um favorite food or favorite ingredients in dinner so i love cheese as an ingredient i love this vintage cheese it's like a vintage cheese i get it from tesco i don't know but it's so nice Sorry, I just thought that maybe I'm not in focus. Um, but yeah, I really love this vintage cheese. I also really love tortelloni. I've started really enjoying that. So yeah, tortelloni, it's like a pasta with like a filling inside of it. You can research it if you're not sure. Um, hang on, I've got to click on the video because, yeah. Um, favorite animal and why? I really do love hamsters. I love rabbits. 
I love dogs, but I would say my favourite animal has now changed to a dog because they've just got so much personality. I've never had a dog, but I think I'm going to have to say a dog. A favourite makeup product and why? Oh God. Eyeshadow palettes because that can really bring out your uh, personality. I don't have a particular favourite eyeshadow palette because I like to use them all. But in terms of like favourite product that I use, it would be eyeshadow because you can really kind of make a difference with eyeshadow in terms of colours and you can, you know, make it into an art. But I also do love a good foundation. She said, what shade do you usually pick up? How dark and how bright do you do your makeup? I think I've got my foundation here. Yeah, this is my foundation. It's from Wet n Wild. I'm going to be doing a wear test of this very soon. This is in the shade Soft Beige. So I like my foundations to be a tiny little bit darker than my skin tone. As you can see, it matches my neck quite well. Um, but I just like it to be the slightest little bit darker. Like if it's lighter, no, 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 no. Like it has to be either the same or a little bit darker. So I do kind of match my skin tone quite well, I think. Favourite thing or subject? I am obviously doing accounting and finance, but when I was doing GCSEs or when I was doing my A-levels, maths was my favourite. Numbers come more naturally to me than anything else. Like if I did a method in maths, I would remember it. Whereas if somebody told me to recite photosynthesis and all the steps of it, I'd be like, you're going to have to explain that to me at least 10 times for me to understand that. So yeah, definitely maths. Um, do I drive myself or use public transport? I can't drive yet. I'm gonna hope to do my theory and uh, do my test or, you know, try um, in the summer. So that's what I'm kind of aiming to do. And what's your favorite video that you, oh, and also I don't use public transport. I use my feet. Um, and favorite video that you like filming, I, that's a difficult one. I love filming favourites videos. I know they're not the most popular video on my channel, but I do love filming them. I also love filming Q&As. Hello. Um, but yeah, I love favourites videos because they're quite easy to do and they're also talking about things that I love and that's very easy for me to do as well. Um, so I like those. I like filming vlogs and then when I'm out with my friends or family and then watching them back, it's always funny to watch. Tom Cole asks, what are your hobbies apart from YouTube? Well, my new hobby is obviously the skincare, but I don't know what my hobby is. I like makeup. I don't really have any hobbies in particular. I love doing workouts. Does that count as a hobby? Because I actually look forward to my workout each day. But yeah, thanks for the question. Um, Monique Alicia asks, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? That's an interesting question. I've obviously already been to New Zealand. I don't know why that's obvious. I've already been to New Zealand um, and I loved it there. I really loved it. That's inspiring my second tattoo that I'm gonna get on this wrist. Whoa, I nearly flung my ring across the room um, to match this one. And I'm gonna get a kiwi, like a kiwi bird from New Zealand. But anyway, sidetrack. Um, I really, really, really wanna go to New York in America. Um, I'm a little bit iffy with America because I know that security wise they're very strict like and stuff and and the whole like gun laws and things are a little bit like not my cup of tea but I do really want to go there at some point. I also want to go to Paris in France. I have been to France before. Um, I just want to go to loads of different places but I don't want to go you know I'm not like want to venture out too much. I, I, I It's just the usual places that people like. Right, um, oh my god, I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong, I'm very sorry. Um, okay, I can't, I don't wanna pronounce someone's name wrong because I feel bad, so if you ask this question, you know who you are. Um, they put, hey, self-defense question, um, sorry, self-defense and girl power question, have you or a friend ever kicked a boy in the balls? Haha, <laughs> what was the story and why? What was his reaction? cry, fall down, etc. Now, I don't personally think that this is girl power. I don't personally think that this is self-defense unless this person is attacking you, like physically, then maybe it is. But if you are hitting or kicking somebody in the balls and they haven't physically attacked you, then that is abuse. So I wouldn't recommend that. Um, have I ever done that? Um, I would say as a child with my brother, I might have done that. Sorry, Tommy, a few times. Like, cause obviously I was young, I was immature. And yeah, not because that was when we was like play fighting and stuff or like fighting. Um, and I remember once I did accidentally kick my dad in the balls by accident because I was swinging my leg up and I was like, dad, see how far I can swing my leg up and then accidentally kicked him in the balls. So lol. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not a girl power thing to kick people in the balls. Girl power is, you know, not related 
to guys at all. You just do your own thing, you get on with your life, you don't need to bring other people down to bring you up. That is what I'm gonna say. So do not kick people in the balls, that is a bad thing. Um, Ryan's channel asked, what's your favourite hobby? My favourite hobby is making YouTube videos. And they also asked, what made you want to start YouTube? What's your favourite hobby and what do you plan on majoring in? That's an American thing, isn't it? Majoring in. What does that mean? Is that like a degree? If so, then accounting and finance. Um, I'm not sure, sorry if I got that wrong. Um, what's um, made me want to start YouTube? I've answered this in many Q and A's, but I think it's just the fact that I like to talk in front of a camera. I just, I just watched YouTubers and I thought, you know, I would love to do that. I could easily do that and I just enjoy it. I enjoy the whole process of filming, talking, editing, scheduling, posting. Sorry if I've missed anyone's questions, but the final question is from Daniel Kane and he said, who's your favourite Daniel? Well, I don't know you anymore, so definitely not you. Well, savage. I don't have a favourite Daniel. My cousin's called Daniel, so I should probably say him. Um, I don't know that many people call Daniel, um, but yeah. Strange question but I can understand why you asked it because you're called Daniel. But if you were looking for the answer to be you, then it's definitely not because I don't know you anymore and I didn't really know you then either, so. Harsh but fair. Um, so that is all of the questions for my Q&A. I know this video is really, really long, but I just wanted it to be like, um, you know, chatty. I didn't want to whiz through the questions. I wanted to answer them with my genuine responses. There is a few videos, like I said, that I do want to film now that I've seen these questions. For example, the motivational video and also my future plans video as well. I do want to film those because I think they're good ideas to do separately. Um, so yeah, hopefully I answered everyone's questions. Hopefully I didn't miss anything because obviously I did it on like Instagram, two Instagrams and one YouTube. Um, so sorry if I missed anyone's questions, um, but I've really loved answering everything love chatting if you've got any more questions i will be doing another one i think next month maybe or the month after um but yeah ask away ask anything um but yeah thank you for watching give the video a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe for more content on my channel and i will see you in my next video goodbye